Shalom, Shalom, Kohalo Yim La Yehawa, Mahasham, Yehawa Shai, Mahasham Rechachadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who were well the true leaders of all Israel of the day. Peace, salutation, Shalom, Wachasa, Laha Bachayar. I'm your fellow servant, I'm Yadya. I represent the GMS branch here in Cleveland, here to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, out of one Ratazah, Abanawa Ratazah. This is an edifying lesson. And this is a post from social media. And you, you got, hey, that's the spirit because it's three classifications of, 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 of men. You got the sons of the wicked, right, which these so-called white people, they are the sons of the wicked. They are the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. They were created to wreak havoc and take peace from the earth. And they've accomplished that. And then you had the sons of, 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 of the sons of God, right? which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Navasuno Indians. We are the princes of the power. And then you had the sons of men, these other heathen nations. And pursuant to the scripture, the Heavenly Father is going to destroy the third part of men by thermonuclear fire. Okay? So that's what we should be trying to avoid to the best of our ability, the plagues and the judgment that the Heavenly Father is about to send upon this earth, man. Right? Because these dudes not bosses. Because in all actuality, they're slaves. Right? They deceive the whole world. In particular, they, these red Hebrew mites. They deceive the whole world right along with these other heathens. They've turned everything upside down. They told you that you were, you were an employee and they're the boss. Well, we know the word employee goes back to slave. Right? And if you're a boss, that means you have authority, demeaning, demeaning authority over another person, if you will. Okay? So these people not really bosses. We are the real bosses on the planet Earth, man. And that's going to be made manifest when the Heavenly Father sent our Lord Yahweh Shabbat. It's going to be made manifest who are the true bosses on the planet Earth, man. Okay? These dudes are servants. They were created to serve who? The sons of, of the Heavenly Father. The sons of, 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 of God. Right? Yashar Allah. The princes of the power. That's what these heathen nations were created to do. To serve us, man. Right? Said, sat around the table with some bosses. Thank God I'm finally winning. You're not really winning. You're still losing, Jake. You just have felt you you just haven't come to the realization that, that yet that you're losing. But that realization is gonna creep in, right? You're gonna get a dose of reality when the dollar collapse. That's when you're gonna realize you're losing, right? Cause you put all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. Okay, you thought that if you were able to stand, attain celebrity status right that you were going to be able to win you're not going to win the only way you're going to win is by overcoming this devil overcoming his mark that's the only way you're going to win man i'm fine thank god i'm finally winning you're not winning jake you're losing because you still refer to yourself as black and you still think the so-called white man is your buddy and the so-called uh, uh east indian man is your buddy so you're really losing you don't know your nationality you don't know who you are you don't know the Heavenly Father. You're not in a winning position. Yeah, because you had DJ Khaled a couple years ago. He had the song, All I Do Is Win. Well, you jakes, y'all not winning. Y'all really losing. Right? And y'all too stupid to understand that. Finally, thank God I'm finally winning. Couldn't take no more losses. Well, it's a loss by signing, signing a contract with these people. Because these people, the scripture talk about how they, uh, their words are smoother than butter. Right? They they got smooth words, man. But they words don't match their uh, 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 actions. Okay? So these, these these dudes pray, man. The scripture says from us. That's why the Heavenly Father got to rouse Jake up. The Heavenly Father got to put our people in remembrance. No, they want to do this. The Heavenly Father going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, man. Pursuant to the scriptures. So these people going to come to the realization that they Israelites, then it's going to be too late. Well, the Heavenly Father going to use them anyway. The Heavenly Father going to use them to do, do his bidding. Because two-thirds of our people, they're going to go out in a blaze of glory because they don't have any faith and trust in the Heavenly Father. They're not meek. They're not wholly dependent on the Heavenly Father, right? Relying on the Heavenly Father rather than their own their own self, man. So they're going to go out in a blaze of glory, Okay? But yeah, I, the, the reason why it's, 
you know, I, I didn't have any pre sales but I seen this, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> Jake just don't get it, man. You surrounded by your enemies. We behind enemy lines over here, man. These people not your friend. They got ulterior motives. You can see it in the Edomite's eyes, man. He looked guilty. He looked suspicious. And then you got the 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 the, 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 the Elamite with no f nothing. <laughs> and these the type of people you want to surround yourself with. No, you want to surround yourself with men of the Lord, man. You want to surround yourself with the elders and apostles and the Akim that's pushing this word and truth and insincerity. Then you'll truly be winning. Okay, that's the only time you'll be able to win. And ultimately, we're going to win when we get delivered. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. When the saints go marching in, my uh, the Akim, their families, my family, the Apostle Elza, all the brothers are pushing us in truth and in sincerity. That's when we're going to finally win, when the Heavenly Father put our, you know, put our enemies under our foot, pursuant to the scripture, when the Heavenly Father give us the neck of our enemies, right? So this would be a better picture if he had his hand on the back of both of these heathens' neck, man. Having them bow down, man. Right? So that's when we're really going to be winning. When the Heavenly Father sweep this place with the beast of destruction. When this place uh, descends into uh, uh, utter chaos. That's when we're going to be winning. <laughs> okay? And like I said, I didn't have, you know, too many, I didn't really have any scriptures at all. I'm like in an undisclosed location. I don't really have my scriptures in front of me. You know, but I'm just quoting scriptures, right? Scripture says, man, uh, awake, awake. Uh, my people, Ravi paraphrase, and put on our beautiful garments, O Israel. So you got to put on this, the garments of this wisdom, understanding, knowledge of the Heavenly Father, man, right? You got to be circumspect. You got to know who your enemy is, Jacob. These people, the only reason they signed you to their to they record uh, uh, company is so you can... Uh, uh, Promote what? Promote death, promote drugs, promote black culture. Which that's all detrimental to the survival of our people, man. It's all detrimental. It's a generational thing. See, these Jakes don't understand, man. Right? They understand. They they they, they simple. Right? They're uh they're spiritually discerned. They don't have any discernment, man. Right? They walking around like the scripture says, man, groping in the noon. They roughly paraphrasing, man. So he sat around the table with some bosses. These are slaves pursuing to the scriptures, man. And they going into captivity under this Jake right here. Because in the kingdom, when he come back in his right mind, if he's not a part of the elect on this side, they, these two individuals, I pray to the heavenly father that they be his slaves. And he remember these individuals. He remember their spirit, man. And he put hell on these two, two, two heathens, man. Okay? Because this place is <laughs> on the cusp of destruction. This place is on his last leg, pursuant to the scriptures, right? The prophecy in Daniel, the, the second chapter of the, the statue. And at the end, it had the feet of iron and miry clay. So we're in, that, we're in the season of iron and miry clay. So this place is about to make that transition. While our people still think they're going to make it in this society, signing a record, uh, 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 signing a record contract. Well, look, look, little Dolph, young Dolph, look what happened to him, man. Okay, and also look what happened to all these other entertainers, in particular these these rappers, that thought that by them signing a contract it was gonna make their life better. And you got a whole, and that's the thing about it. Hey, oh, with the with the with the with the uh, the, the video, it's on YouTube. You can look it up. You'll never be a mainstream rapper. Look up what nepotism is. Our people don't understand that. Look up what nepotism is. Okay, you'll never be a mainstream rapper, Jake. <laughs> Never. You know, so, hey, like, like I said, I didn't really have too many scriptures. I was just quoting scriptures, right? But I pray this was a little quick, edifying lesson through the Spirit. I give all glory and praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Achachadash, the Bana City Apostles and Elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutation, blessing to the Akim pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom, Muaf, love a ball.